Are you a beach person or are you a mountain person? Right, right. Right. Uh, yes, side. Uh, are you a beach person or are you a mountain person? This is the question that I've been. Left, left. Hey, Baba. Are you a beach person or a mountain person? This is the question I want to basically ask you. This sets up the premise of this show. Oh, ye. Arey, I didn't realize because wo mirror ka jaisa dikhta hai na. I thought it was for makeup. Sorry about that. Ready? I'm ready. Are you a beach person or a mountain person? I mean, I'm just one short life. Just enjoy Candy Floss at Joe Beach and Maggie on Everest, and stop asking such pointless questions and make room for more important questions. What is cryptocurrency? <laughs> and can your nanny put cryptocurrency in an envelope for you to go and buy chocolates with it? And how long can her savings allow her to keep giving you that money? And does she have any policy with your name on it? And can she clear the bills for your root canal caused by your nanny's utter carelessness caused due to all the chocolate you should have eaten because of her? It's like her fault. Anyway, speaking of eating, one second. Hmm. 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 Introducing Coin Switch Untangle. In the next few weeks, we will cover the basics of the world of cryptocurrencies. We'll talk about how they work, the technology that powers crypto, and try to make sense of this complicated world. And yes, I'll talk softer and slower. Music. Please please pay attention, girls. Especially please pay attention because I am about everybody. They, them, him, her, he, she, everyone. Listen, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ethereum, all of this has been the talk of the town lately. Now, some people call crypto a bubble. Some call it the future. I call it my friend. When you ask someone to explain it to you, you get bombarded with terms like blockchain, yeah, mining, wo, decentralized, Elon Musk, Doge, blah blah, boo boo bb, goo goo gaga. Sorry, that's a Freddie Mercury song. Anyway, the fact is, crypto is a new technology, and it's a revolutionary technology. It's like what the internet was in the 90s. Yeah, there. By the time logo ko samaj me aaya, ye internet kya hai? Internet already changed the world, and it also changed the lives of those few people. Jinon ne internet ke trend ko jaldi pakra aur uske benefits ko samajne ki koshish ki. Like my auntie Roshan, who's now a multi-millionaire but doesn't speak to us. In fact, has told me to stay 50 yards away from the house for some reason. So let's start trying to understand crypto. Sorry guys, not that inception. <laughs> oh shoot, Raju, what a back up problem here. Guys, Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency ever. How do I know that? I have written it on my hand. And Satoshi Nakamoto is the anonymous name used by the creators of Bitcoin. The pronunciation is Satoshi Nakamoto. But I don't want to say that every time it takes long. The actual person has never been verified, and it could just be me. So you better listen carefully. He or she or they or they released the Bitcoin white paper in late 2008 after witnessing the 2008 financial crisis. His entire idea was let's decentralize digital money. Decentralized means there should be no authority or institution or individual controlling the money. But why did Satoshi want to do that? Hmm. Basically, Satoshi was not happy with the financial institutions. In fact, I know this because he wrote to me, "Dear Cyrus, I am not happy with the financial institutions." Signed, Satoshi. They messed things up, causing a global recession. Remember, and instead of getting punished, the authorities kept bailing them out. कैसे? U.S. created dollars out of thin air and rescued the financial institutions. Now, ये पूरे प्रोसेस में दुबारा सिर्फ कॉमन मैन तो Satoshi was like, "Bus." Both were. The people should have full control over their money. To understand his point better, let's try to understand how money in general has worked over time. Originally, anything that people thought had value was considered money. <laughs> Who put my picture up? Who did that? Don't do that. And then, for the longest time, gold was the universal medium of exchange because people trusted gold to have value. People soon realized that it wasn't practical to carry around lumps of gold, so the authorities created paper money backed by gold. Now, these papers were essentially receipts for a particular amount of gold, and these receipts were backed by bolo 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 trust. So, ये hundred dollar का note का मतलब है there is somewhere hundred dollars worth of gold stored. 
Okay? Eventually, US discarded gold as the backing for the dollar, and these receipts were now backed by nothing. What the f? Nothing. Kuch nahi. People still use these because the authorities said, or rather dictated, it has value and they trusted the authorities. Or jab 2008 ka recession hua, tab some people, including Ajay Satoshi Ma, realized this trust is a lie. So he introduced the concept of Tang 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 Bitcoin. Ta -da. The philosophy behind Bitcoin is decentralization. Satoshi wanted to create a system jaha ye trust. Namak cheez ki koi zarurat nahi padni chahiye. For example, in our current system, Cyrus, uh, myself, has his money stored in a bank, and when he makes a transfer to Bablu, who's just right off camera, and uh, sends it to Bablu's account, the bank approves it. In fact, all the transactions in the system by thousands of people are recorded by this middleman, and balances are maintained by him. The middleman, ladies and gentlemen, Yaniki lady and gentlemen, has full control. So Satoshi was like, middleman be itna trust. His exact words been recorded. So the great Satoshi proposed Bitcoin and defined it as a pair, oops, to pair, a version of electronic cash that would allow online payments to be sent directly from one party, ya pair, to another party, ya pair. Now, excuse me for one second while I. Travis in Gujarati both of us. So let me explain it this way. In his new system, if Cyrus wants to send 100 brocha money to Bablu, this transaction should be only between Cyrus and Bablu. Cyrus ka brocha should be with Cyrus and not stored in an account. Nobody, nobody should be able to stop Cyrus from withdrawing any brochas. There should not be any central authority that can create more brochas out of thin air and make Cyrus's brochas less valuable. So let's explore some advantages that this alternate system offers. So think of Bitcoin as a network of people transacting with each other, and instead of a middleman keeping records, everyone in the system keeps records. This network is fully decentralized. But look, no one person has authority and can influence or control your money. And because it's decentralized, this system may there is no need for trust either. Bitcoin is secure. Bitcoin network kabi down nahi hota. Because there is no central point of failure in a traditional system. Middleman ki light chali gayi, ya computer mein trojan aa gaya, so the whole thing will come to a halt. Network ka ek banda down bhi ho gaya, ya hack hua, to no worries. It's like if one kidney fails, then you can still live with the other one, which I'm doing right now. But in this case, you have maybe like 1,000 or 10,000 kidneys. Bro, I'd sell one and finally buy the new iPhone. Maybe two, because my daughter's been pestering me. Birthday coming up. Bitcoin is scarce. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. Yeh Bitcoin ki code mein set hai. Nobody can print 100 million more Bitcoin and make your Bitcoin fall in value. 21 million only. Very limited. Uh, like the number of Parsis in the world, which stands at the present moment. Let me just check. 69,277. 276. Accident. People should watch while crossing the road. You will always have full custody of your assets. Matlab, aisa nahi hoga ki you want to withdraw money or kisi reason se aap nahi kar pa rahe ho ya aapko koi nikalne nahi de raha hai. It's like your watchman not letting you inside your own house. Nahi sir, aaj aapko road pe sona padega. Madam ne kaha. And by madam means my mother. Uh, my wife and I live in separate houses. She's very rich. No, you will maintain sole possession of your assets. And because it's digital, it does not take up any space. I know all of this sounds fantastic, but how does Bitcoin and crypto in general even work? How do you make a decentralized network function? Middleman nahi hai, to ye system operate kaise ho raha? These are the questions that we will answer in the next episode as we take a deep dive and then come back up into the technology that powers Bitcoin. If your mind is not already blown, I promise it will be blown all the way to Mars in the next episode. I'll see you next week. Until then, it's goodbye. Ek aur cheez, bhai aur beno. Remember, Bitcoin might be a slightly complicated subject to grasp, but grasping Bitcoin itself is super easy. Check it out. You can do it with only a few clicks on Coin Switch. So, there you go. I put in the money and let's see what happens. And you can start your investing journey with as little as 100 rupees. Download CoinSwitch Kuber now and start Bitcoining. Now I have to answer some emails, so I'll see you soon. Dear Salman Bhai, 
I reject the offer to play the hero against Priyanka Chopra in your forthcoming film because I feel the money is not enough. As you know, I want to invest in Bitcoin with my money and not waste my time doing Hindi films. Please accept this and do not pester me by calling all the time. And I don't care if it's a Hollywood blockbuster as well as a Bollywood blockbuster. It means nothing to me. So please leave me alone. Alone ka spelling kya hai, Raju? Double L. Yeah, L L O N E.